everyone and welcome to my youtube channel this is rj here and i'm about to show you how to fully export a world file when you copy over a world file you have to copy the world file in your seven days to die directory the one from your app data directory now the world file or what i'd like to call world sample files is just a world with an empty shell where all the buildings roads and biomes has been placed nothing has been changed nothing has been edited this file is located in seven days to die directory or the game directory wherever you have installed seven days to die an example on my side it would be c drive program files steam steam apps open up the file common seven days to die data and worlds and what you see in the worlds file is all the maps you have that you have created in seven days or the worlds that came pre-installed with the game now your hard drive directory may differ from the mine above or that example that i just showed you so when you open up your worlds file you would see the navis game as well as all the other worlds in the game with that game pre-installed ingredients file as we'd like to call it but this file is is all the prefabs for us player bases and everything saved to it as is the wiring signs items in the chest and the turrets gets taken over and the appropriate settings to the turrets as well as the ammunition in it nothing gets changed nothing gets gets removed it is just a simple move of the file as is now the, di the directory is c drive users administrator app data roaming seven days to die and saves now basically over here what you see is all the world files that corresponds to this file over here this is like the ingredients to their counterpart this news new server one fits over here pre-gen one fits onto pre-gen one pre-gen three to pre-gen three and of course navis game to navis game so if you would like to save these files you would have to go like this you open up the new folder and you would like to call this one saves and you copy this file as is or maybe let's give an example i'll copy the pre-gen one copy it and pasting it over there and on this side I'll, I'll copy the same corresponding file let me call this one worlds and just to make sure that you copy the right file i see a copy pre-gen one I'll do a copy pre-gen one over here as well. Now do keep in mind these files are a bit big for open properties. This one is 797. And, um, and this one is 101. Now obviously this pre-gen number one file, this is the ingredients one. And this is the sample so if you save these files corresponding to this directory as opposed to if you want to send it to someone they need to save these files exactly as where you got them so when you open up the file you have to copy and paste the file as is back into your worlds and the same with the saves file they'll have to copy this one back into your worlds I'm going to show you in my game how to successfully open up the file if you do save these files corresponding to where you put them. I'm going to show you how to open up the new server one, which I have currently copied it all from our Patreon server, the, the South African Reach Gaming Patreon server. This is what the file was called. I've successfully copied it over. And this is what the files would, would look like if you had to open it. 
now obviously when you open up your continue game you will see that the reach name which is the game save name that you will see on the continue area so let me open up the game and show you where you will see the new server one right so now that i've opened up my game you go to the continue game to open up your exported world file and you would see that there is the exported world file called new server one which is right over here on the reach map and there you have it guys that's how you export a world file successfully now if you added any mods to the file and you wanted to play with mods or the world file came with mods and you want to export it as well make sure you copy over the corresponding mod that you used in the world file otherwise the person who you send the world file to won't load anyway guys thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video take care